so in today's episode, I'm going to be installing a new clock spring on my Corolla XRS. I have the dreaded airbag light. It's been on for about, I don't know. I got my service, I got my airbag Takata recall done last year around this time of the year. And the light turned on, I guess, early this year. So a couple months after I got the recall done, my airbag light came on. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, you take your car to the dealership and it comes out worse. <laughs> but anyways, I was reading online that this is actually a very common thing that happens with the Celica, Matrix, MR2, and Corollas. Usually the clock spring, um, they go bad because of the wires from just turning the wheel over and over and over again. But the funny part about that, back on my 2001 Corolla that had over 300,000 miles, I didn't have that problem. So if, it, if they were able to fix, if they were able to have it good before, why is it so hard for them to do it now? <laughs> it makes no sense. But anyways, um, tools that I'm gonna need. Oh, my T30 is missing. I believe that's in the car. So you're gonna need a T30. You're gonna need a Phillips head. I think I have, I think I have those in my car. So T30, Phillips head. Um, yeah, I do have it in the car because I'm missing my half inch as well. Wow, this introduction is really horrible now. <laughs> but you're also going to need a 19. Um, I think that's it. And well, I'll go over the tools again. Tools that you're going to need. Um, you don't need a flashlight, but I have one just so I can see a little bit better. Um, flathead, screwdriver, Phillips head. Um, preferably a half inch with a 19 and also preferably a deep socket or an extension with a shallow if you don't have that or don't have a deep socket and you're gonna need a t30 and just something to use the t30 with but first step is to remove the two torques that are in here there's one right here and one on the other side i already have those off this is what they look like so your airbag should be able to slide right out and your airbag's connected with these two clips right here and to remove that you can get your flat head and just pry it up just like that Come on, there we go. So just take those off. Oh crap, this is hard with doing it with one hand, but I already got it off. So set that aside. Oh, remember, don't set it like this. Set it like that in case it does go off for some odd reason. Anyways. Um, here is the clock spring. Now to remove, to get access to the clock spring, we're gonna need to remove the steering wheel. So I highly suggest you center your steering wheel because, you're, because you don't wanna like get it misaligned and whatnot. So center it as much as you can, then get your 19 millimeter. And oh, let's see if I can do this with one hand. Oh. Okay, I got it. <laughs> it's already loose. Um, don't take it out completely all the way out, just a little bit so you could be able to pull on the wheel. What I do is I usually go left and right with both my hands. And there it goes. You can hear that it popped. But before you take off the steering wheel, take off the, the cruise control and the horn plug. Now you can take out the nut set that aside and it should slip right out here's the bad clock spring and what I'm going to do to get access to it is I'm gonna pop up in this Phillips This should separate. Actually, no, there's one more down here. I forgot. I 
and with that final screw down here out, you can pull on this down and your column cover should come right out. You could probably access the clock spring from just the, removing the bottom one, but if you really need to remove the top one, you can lower your column down. So you have two plugs down here. You have the one for your cruise control and your horn. Remove that and remove the yellow big plug. Both of those are out. And from my understanding, by looking at the other clock spring, it looks like it just clips right on. So if we can just pull on it, it should come out. Oh, there it goes. All right, there it goes. That's the old clock spring. It's out. Put the new one in and it should just clip right in. So one thing I was noticing, this is the one from the new clock spring. This does not work. You need to use your old one. And the way I did that was I just used the flat head to get it out of place to unbend the little clip right here. And what I'm gonna do is just push it back into its place. So you can see it's already back. This is all in the new clock spring. And what I'm gonna do now is push this tab down with the flat head so it can lock in. I don't know if my camera's gonna be able to pick it up, but see, it's already locked into place back there. It doesn't come out, it's good. So now just reverse everything from the removal back to the installation. Put that cover back on. Get this lower. Oh, so actually, gotta plug in your connections here. Plug in the yellow one, snaps. Plug in the black one, should snap. Come on. All right. Both are in. So just put your lower cover back on. Covers back on. Go ahead and put your two Phillips head right here and the bottom one. If your clock spring does not have this yellow tab, this is to lock it in place so it doesn't move during shipping. But all that this does is just it holds it in place so that when you install your steering wheel, you have to remove this. But if you don't have this on your new clock spring, it gives you instructions right here how to center it. You can go ahead and remove the yellow hold down now. You want to put this steering wheel as center as possible as it was before. I think that's good right there. So now I'm gonna put my cruise control back on. It doesn't clip, what the heck? Wow, that's really, cr oh, there it goes. There it goes, it clipped. It clipped, people, don't listen to me. <laughs> I don't listen to my about to say bad things about non-OEM products. And yes, unfortunately, this is not OEM. Um, I was reading online that people were purchasing the OEM ones to replace their clock springs and they were going bad within um, another year or so that they would go bad. And OEM clock springs are not cheap. They're actually really expensive. Um, you could get the fake OEM ones from China that are like $30, which are still fake, or the new ones that are from Toyota for like, I don't know, I think they're like $90 but i'm cheap i'm gonna try new things i bought this clock spring off ebay for ten dollars um all right steering wheel is locked and now we got to put our airbag back on same procedure uh, oh they went down what the heck <laughs> or can i still put them on like that i don't know but let's pop these out Pop those out and get your airbag. Steering wheel's back on, airbag's on. Whoops. And that was my bat on the horn. And now what I'm gonna do is put the two 
locks or the two allen torques whatever you want to call them back in I really hope this clears the hair back light because I've had it for on for like the longest time. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> Serial's locked. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So hair back light should turn off. Okay. Oh snap, it turned off. <laughs> Look at that. The airbag light turned off. No way. That's awesome. 